This video will show you how to upcycle your magazine pages into a basket. These are the tools you'll need. A magazine, Stanley knife, a hot glue gun, a skewer, and a cutting board. You will see I found two different sizes of metal skewers in my husband's toolbox. But a shish kebab skewer or toothpick would work in a pinch. I tried it with a toothpick. Um, it was a little short and a little weaker than a skewer, so I did break a few of them. First, you're going to cut the pages out of the magazine. Start by the edge and cut deeply with the Stanley knife. It'll cut through a few pages at a time. And then you'll put the pages back on the cutting board and you're going to cut them in half. Again, use a few pages at a time. I cut up an entire magazine. I did not end up using the whole thing for this project. I probably went through about two-thirds of the pages. But as you can see, I had all of them cut up ahead of time. You begin by rolling the half pages into little tubes. You start at the corner, you put your skewer in the very corner and try to tuck it in. Once you get it started, you pull the skewer out and continue rolling all the way till the end. You have a little corner flap left there and dab it with a little bit of hot glue, roll it around and that sticks pretty instantly. You're going to want to flatten out the tube with your fingers or a screwdriver and as you're flattening it kind of curve it a little bit because now we're going to make a pinwheel. You use the skewer again and start the pinwheel at the very beginning. Try to roll it as tight as you can and as you go along dab some glue every now and then to help it hold together. Luckily hot glue holds it nearly instantly so that really helps when you're trying to roll it and hold it really tight with your fingers. My fingers were a little sore by the end of rolling a bunch of pinwheels and pretty dirty from the magazine print. So don't lose heart, it, it'll turn out okay. We made several of these little bitty pinwheels. At the very end you dab a little bit of glue and it makes it into a nice little roll. I kind of made them until my fingers got sore. And then I made one and I added a strip to the outside, a strip to the outside, and kind of made it into one large pinwheel for the bottom. I just kept going until I wanted it, until as big as I wanted it. I believe mine's about four inches across the bottom. And then I needed to go start going up the sides. I took the same tubes that I'd been making flattened them out and kept gluing around the edges but rather than going right on top of each other I raised them up about halfway up the sides of the other ones. You continue to do this all the way up and gluing all the way and as it's getting bigger one tube won't go around the whole thing. You're probably going to need to overlap them a little bit and try one thing I had a hard time with was the center of it. Try to position the tubes as you're going around to make sure it doesn't get thick on one side, too many going off the right side and not enough off the left side and have the center of the bottom of the bowl be off center. I just kind of kept looking at it like we're doing now and if it seemed a little wider on one side I'd put the tube on the other side that time. Here's a shot of the side beginning to go up I just glued around the top half and then the top half of the next one and the top half of the next one. So it naturally took an upward curve. Once it was as tall as I wanted, I began gluing the little pinwheels on the top. I used hot glue for the whole thing. I didn't, some people have used Elmer's, but I find the hot glue holds quicker and holds stronger. Once I get all the pinwheels glued on the top, just kind of randomly around, more of a decoration. Doesn't matter how you put them, it's going to look great. Along the sides, the last touch I did to finish it off was to take a couple of the tubes and I twisted them together. There was a bit of a space between 
the pinwheels, they were a little thicker or wider than the flattened side ones. So I wanted something to make it flow between the pinwheel top and the other part. So I twisted the two tubes together and I glued it right under all of the pinwheels. And it just kind of flowed together a little bit better. I think this turned out pretty good for a first attempt and I wanted to share it with you so you could see that even a beginner can tackle this project. I did watch a few videos on this before I did it and they looked a little more professional than I do when I'm doing it. They didn't talk about a little bit of hot glue on their fingers or the dirty fingers from the magazine and the hot glue strings, but everything turned out fine.